All right, so now we're going to look at um, a chemistry example with three isotopes. All right, so this is um, the uh, the magnesium. Uh, mag magnesium has three isotopes naturally occurring: magnesium 24, 25, and 26. All right. Um, you'll notice I'm not including the uh, number of protons there. I could write that in, but uh, a lot of times I'm not too concerned about that because um, you know the symbol really tells us um, what element it is and we know how many protons it has. We're not referencing that. But uh, it is good to know the mass number. All right, um, And you'll notice the mass and atomic mass units for each of these individual isotopes you see they are all very close to a whole number very close to 24, 25, very close to that mass number. The reason is the mass number is the number of protons and neutrons and uh, each proton and neutron they both have a similar mass very close to one atomic mass unit. Okay, So that's why those are very close but you'll notice that down here I have the, uh, the atomic mass of magnesium which comes from the periodic table and it's not so close to a whole number. And the reason for that is because this is an average of all of these. There's no one atom of magnesium that has this mass. They have these masses. Okay? Um, but uh, when I average out the mass I get this number in between. Okay? And that's the case with all of the elements although this one is a little bit more pronounced than many of them because many uh, elements are, you know, 99% um, like we saw in the case of nitrogen, very close to 100% one isotope. And therefore, that one has the most weight. Okay? In the case of magnesium, the abundance for magnesium-24 is 70, about 79%. Okay? So it's considerably less than 100, and so that's kind of where that comes from. There's a signif more significant um, amount of these heavier isotopes to bring up that weight a little bit more uh, from the 24. All right, so, um, so let's set this uh, problem up, and, and we want to find out what is the abundance of these other isotopes, okay? So I don't know what it is, but I do know that the total has to add up to 100%. Okay, so um, I'm going to call magnesium 25. Um, well, let me let me call 26x. Okay, um, it doesn't really matter. We can solve it either way. I just want to do it this way. All right, um, so then my abundance for this middle isotope is going to be what? I have, I know it adds up to a total of 100%, so whatever this is, um, you know, plus this plus that equals 100, or I can say this is 100 minus 78.99 minus x, okay? Or I can say, um, if I subtract this, I'll get uh, 21.01. Okay, 21.01 minus x. Okay, so now when I set this up, I do my weighted average equation like we saw in the previous video. And um, that's just, here's my mathematical weight. So that's my abundance, how many atoms or what percentage of the atoms are magnesium-24, what percentage are magnesium-25, and what percentage are magnesium-26. That's my mathematical weight. I multiply each of those by its physical mass and add them together. So what I have is uh, seven, and I'm going to do this as a decimal um, because it will save us a little complication um, in the calculation, okay? Um, because then it'll just add up to one, and um, 
and then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so 0 0.7899 times 23.985045. Um, and yes, these are all in AMU. I'm not going to write it um, just because I know they're all AMU. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second one, here is my weight. Okay, so I'm putting this in as, again, uh, 0 0.2101 minus x. And so x is going to be um, in the fractional form. Um, as in it's a, a decimal, not a percent. Okay, and that weight times 24.98 five eight three nine and then I have my third one which its weight is just X times twenty five point nine eight two five nine five okay that's uh, my those are my three isotopes the heavy the middle and the light isotope and when I do this weighted average, I'll get the atomic mass. 24.3050 AMU. All right. Um, and we can just do it numerically and remember that this is going to work out to AMU. All right. So there's our equation. And what we need to do is uh, just work this out, solve for x, and um, that's it, okay? So I get times 10 to the minus 1, so 0 0.11006. Okay, so x equals 0 0.11006. How many um, significant figures? Well, I have a bunch of them here that I'm dividing by, um, but I only have two there. So, um, so really, I can only say to two decimal places um, what that value for x is. Okay, so x is 0.11, which um, if I convert that to a percentage, this would be 11%. Um, which means I would have 10% uh, up here, okay? Um, again, considering the fact that this is uh, zero decimal places, um, I would round this to 79, and that'll leave me with uh, 79, and this will be bring it up to 90, so the 10% will uh, be what remains of this isotope. Okay, so um, a lot of algebra here, but um, this is, is how you would set up these types of problems where you're given the abundance of one of the isotopes and you want to find the abundance of the others, um, or one in particular, you just let that one be the x, okay? So just don't forget to um, divide that by 100 so you're doing everything in, in fractional um, form in the form of decimals um, and that will save the uh, a little bit of effort in the calculation okay